Okay, everybody, we are back again with some more Game of Thrones, and that's um, rather fitting because those are Lannister cavalry, aren't they? And we are playing as House Lannister. And I need to apologise because my plaster neighbour is doing his construction project again, banging on his aluminum roof. Uh, he's literally been doing that for the last three months now. Um, it's not a very big roof. Uh, I don't see how you can do that much bang. But this is part two. Part one, we did have a battle at Pink Maiden uh, with Jamie Lannister, the Kingslayer. Um, because he actually has a catapult. Now, we're going to go slightly into debt. We discovered that most of the buildings in there we couldn't destroy in any case. And uh, in this mod, you generally have a lot more castles than cities. Um, it's not exactly a peaceful place to live. We've got a scribe. I don't know where I got him from or which building gives us scribes. And we've got a princess right there. Uh, Joy Hill. Right. As you can see, we've got lots of mines, but I couldn't even see a way to get any merchants. So we've got Stony Sept under siege. We've got Willow Wood under siege. We've got couple of uh, Lannisters there coming up to support them and our faction leader uh, Tywin he's going to go after Harrenhal that would be nice to capture wouldn't it uh, won't be easy there's Roose Bolton uh, didn't he get stabbed to death by his son I think Bolton Longman uh, Longbowman Oddly enough, they cannot put down stakes. I figured they could. Bolt on heavy spears. That can hold out for nine turns, but I don't think many people are going to come to their rescue. Alright. Now we're going to go into debt. Or well, we should be going into debt. Uh, just for a little while. This is the one I for. King in the North declared... Um, oh, they've broken their fealty with the Iron Throne. And declared their own king. Right. King of Dragonstone. They have revealed the incest and illegitimacy of House Joffrey, and their newly crowned king claims the Iron Throne as his birthright. Uh huh. Right. Oh, if we accept him, we won't have anyone um, to do diplomacy. Um, I don't think we need him at the moment. Not at the moment. Take Rebel Settlement. Case. That's right now our capital. And then we'll get some good money. We'll get some good money. Alright. Oh. Why can he not move? He doesn't have any movement points. See, she's the only one who can do diplomacy at the moment. Although we would need a new general to go and capture this one. Titus Brax. Break Hall Warhammers. Ooh, they look like a tough bunch. Crack Hall, or is it Crack Hall? Alright. Nope. Okay, he's brought a lot of his forces out. Um, there's Tyrion Lannister. There he is. No, Vale Clansman. Why does he have troops from the Vale of Arryn? I guess we should let him through, though. Right. We'll go and have a big battle right there, I think. Largest faction. That's us. Strongest faction. That's us. Yeah, everybody's at war now. Alright. Lannisters. We're at war with uh, Dragonstone now. 
Alright, they've broken their alliance. Hornvale. Ah, so we've got some extra units in there at Hornvale. I might actually, you know, we left that completely open, didn't we? And uh, nobody went in to claim it. What if I throw in a unit then? I know I destroyed one building, but um, there were two enemy armies up there, Starks and Tallies, and they have not tried to take it. How much of how much of what showers? You know, I know I don't have enough to build it, but I'd like to see how much it is. Right, so we need to build a force to go and take them. And we got all of those built. So yeah, we're going to go slightly into debt, but we're going to kill Rickard Karstark and Vargo Hote, not Goat, Bolton Men at Arms, Northern Bowmen. Karstark Knights. Yes, now remember, if they got that little horseshoe up there, that's a cavalry unit. And that's the only cavalry they have. Right, Karstark Men at Arms. Umber Men at Arms. Northern Men at Arms. Can they do. They don't have any abilities. Shieldtrom. Right, that's going to be a good battle. We've got two, two cavalry and our faction leader. Hopefully we don't get him killed. I'm quite good at getting my faction leaders killed. I'm quite good at getting all my generals killed. Yeah, but <laughs> that's a bit of foreboding there, isn't it? That loading screen. Wasn't that Cersei Lannister kissing uh, Tywin Lannister? On his funeral bed, funeral buyer. There he is, with his swept back golden hair. All right, he doesn't have any special abilities. Now you do. You can do shield wall, and it takes a long while to cut through those. All right, man's the men at arms. All right. Those are all spears, aren't they? Alright, we do have units you can put down stakes. You're on that flank, you're on that one, that's good. They do look rather similar though, don't they? Right. Stakes down. I don't know if they're going to come towards us, but we'll see. We might be able to pull them forwards. Now well, they're at the other end of the field, but are they going to come or not? That's a long way to go. Uh, it doesn't look like they're going to move. It's a shame. I'd like to use those stakes. Maybe when they see the missile units coming towards them, they'll kick into gear. Looks like it's going to towards evening, doesn't it? Alright, I'm going to move the other troops as well. Men of arms. 
get those spears moving up so we can't use the stakes. You still not within range? Okay, now we've got movement. Somebody's coming forward. Uh, do we outrange them? Kind of looks like we do. 4% already. 5. Wow, well, those are pretty good. They are not returning fire. Well, it says they're returning fire. They haven't done much damage though. 8%. We need more of these. That's what we need. If you want to stand down and keep getting shot, that's up to you. There's the iconic bolt and shield, isn't it? Uh, the flayed man. Well, do we have permanent arrows? Some mods you have permanent arrows. And some will disappear after a certain length of time. Uh, like in Stainless Steel, and now in um, Divide and Conquer. They look permanent, don't they? That's plus, that's a lot of arrows. <laughs> I mean, it looks cool. Sixteen versus one. All right. I mean, we pretty much decimated all of their units, but I think we need to move up so we can kill some of the actual units ah bolt and longbows they were mixed in all right i do have a cavalry unit over there they are backed up by heavy spears but maybe we can do something Okay, get out of there. They took a, quite a few casualties. Yeah, they got hit bad. Ah, that's their bodyguard. They left him out on the flank. Stupid place. Of course, only 44. But they're not even counter charging. They're not killing anyone yet. Wow, look at that. Vast amount of um, arrows. Right, let's move up. They are sending some men at arms. Get away from those. Uh, they're down to 28, but still, you've done an excellent job. There, and they're coming forwards. Yeah, we're going to lose that whole cav unit, but, 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 we got them down to 20. It's a good chance we'll kill them. I 
Let's get that other cav moving as well. And Tywin. Yep. Down to nine. But we got them down to eight. No, fifteen. Right. <clears throat> Ah, Stark Knights. What's their emblem? Can we even see? Mm. Alright, you're out of ammo, but you did an awesome job. Alright, he's about to go. He's gone. Mm -hmm. We will. Can we get you past him? Get you some backup. Trying to get away, are you? Not sure how many men we've got on the field, but quite a few. Got some crossbows left. Alright. He's down to eleven. He's down to nine. We're gonna get both of them. Down to one. Is he gone? Looked like we got him. Where's the other one? Those ones are riding. Where's that other general? Ah, oh, there he is, right? Still got a little bit of ammunition left. Alright, everyone's out of ammo. Pile on in. No, oh, you're taking a lot of casualties. Right, now we're capturing a lot of them. They must all be breaking. The battle is very much in our favour. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. We don't want any of them getting back to that settlement. No, oh, don't let him get away. Kill that Carl Stark. Kill him. Kill him dead. Yeah, don't stop. Keep chasing. Keep going. Got somebody running through the trees there. It's quite dark. Oh, seriously got away? That's quite a few men. Shame we lost that cavalry unit through no fault of our own. Still 70%. Our 
men are winning the Behold how our cowardly foes... Oh yeah, we're definitely going to continue. Well, it's a bit hard to see how... how Cut those ones off. We've got 83 there, 30, 25, 400 prisoners. Ah, uh, so many of them getting away. So many. Alright, go get them. Got 58 trying to get through there. Right. Well, that's close to it. 87. Right, we're going to have to besiege Harren Hall. Now, I don't know in this mod if uh, settlements get garrisons, scripted garrisons. Quite possibly they do. Many mods do that, but we're going to find out. And he survived. We lost a whole unit. Um, but apart from that, those spearmen did not take much damage, did they? I mean, those ones are basically levies. Some good money, but no. This will be my last war. Ah, Peter Baelish. Little finger. Wish they'd never been born, All right. Sire. They're dead once we've breached the wall, sire. Patiently awaiting to Doesn't look like they got any or didn't have room for any. But they've got some Bolt and Swordsmen in there, and they look pretty good. He got away, Vargo. How's Bolton? Not in good relations, apparently. Right, we're going to make money fairly soon. It's the Imp. Come on, cross the bridge. Alright, if we can capture these two, there is another settlement there rebels but we can capture those two we can form up a cross here can't we because there's not that many crossing points um ships as you've seen in episode one and uh, let me show you right here are uh, quite expensive no there it is lanners port that's where we have our ships wardroman six turns and over 3k uh, 1200 for th Three turns just for a sailor and a galley, almost two thousand and four turns. So, I don't think we're going to see many large navies. So, if we can hold this crossing point and uh, this one, we'll be doing all right. And uh, there's a crossing point there, one, no one. Those are all very good choke points. And there. Uh, this is the Dornish lands. Right. Um, that seems like a good place to end this episode as well, doesn't it? So we will.